divine greetings, entities, energies, lovely bodies of light, the seekers and sojourners of truth. 144, chosen of the chosen few, you know who you are. I greet you in the love that lights the truth from my heart to yours. I am celestial earth, known as Akila, right? And this divine energy essence of it all. I so own that name today. I had a speech today and I went in as celestial earth. So I am owning that name more and more. So y'all back me up. <laughs> Y'all call me out when you get a chance to, but the celestial earth is really uh, sinking in and you're literally witnessing me in a change, in the midst of a change. So known as Aquila Textry, but I am officially stepping into celestial earth, right? So with that, as usual, I'm reporting to you live from none other than, that's right, the 5D, the fifth dimension welcome to 5d come on in get comfortable uh don't get too comfortable because there's so much work to be done All right so with that said speaking of work we should always be activating the light grid so as usual i bring you the news to infuse if you so choose to and i am choosing to infuse with this light grid come on follow me get your light grid activation on All right if not you have free choice but the way things are going right now, you're going to be getting fried on the light grid, right? Because the light grid is up, up on 10, a potency on 10, right? With that said, I want to go right into it, um, sharing this insight. I actually was going to speak about something else. Um, matter of fact, I may just, you know, bridge it all in together. Um, but it's speaking about the 727, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. The 727 call out, but I'll get to that. Um, what comes in front of it is the halls of Amenti, a filter between the spiritual and the physical. And I must say thank you, Laura. Shout out to you. Um, it was I, I'm loving reading these comments when I get a chance to. And I happen to have a moment when I came in. I came in later. But I got to and I, I saw that one and it was like the halls of a mentee. This sounds, you know, deep referring to this is what what's what she's resonating with here. And I love that you all are resonating um, with these vibrations and with this energy. Um, I love that you're feeling welcome. You're feeling at home. That is what this is for. For those of us to feel like, oh, OK, this is what I'm talking about. Yes. Come on in. Let's connect. So if this feels like the halls of a mentee, then that's exactly what it is, All right? So I want to talk about that because um, this ties to Kemet, for those who don't know. And I'm in my, my Kemetic attire here. I got my pharaoh, you know, you know, not that I'm so much into the pharaohs, but, you know, it's giving me that Kemetic vibe. I'm in my Kemetic vibe today. Um, but before I do that, let me go ahead. If you haven't done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, share. We're almost there at the 1,000. So thank you all for your support. Um, leave a comment, you know, if you dare to, if you feel to, if you don't have anything to say but it resonates, you know, leave some emojis that, that aligns with the message. Um, with that, is there anything else going on? The detox to detach just finished finalized tonight um which is why you're probably not because some of you most of you won't see this probably till um the morning to the next day because it's the wee hours um and we had to do our our last meeting for the detox to detach and it was extremely successful um for those who are in it when i say successful i'm not talking about how many people signed up or you know me I did it for free, so it's not that type of successful. Um, it's successful in the sense of energy. Um, and everyone was getting what they needed to get out of it and realizing this was very timely and needed. Um, so even if you weren't in there, if you were doing a detox and a fast, know that you are on the you are in alignment. You are in alignment, you are in divine timing, you're making power moves, right? As I explained to them in the group that we're making power moves. So that's closing out um and the next thing we have coming up will be those of you who have a parallel of mars and uranus 
in your chart, which some of you have reached out to me, so I want to respond to that as well. Um, if I haven't gotten back to you, this has been a really, really busy weekend. So for one, pardon me there. And for two, um, I got to a few people. I responded to a few people. But if not, sometimes I might not be seeing it, even if this is to do with the calendars. If you haven't gotten a response from me with the calendars, um, please message, um, leave a comment here so I can, because I can, I get through the comments. I can, you know, when I take a day and sit through them, I'm definitely going to see it in the comments. Whereas in with the email, sometimes I guess it may go in spam and um if you if it's not in spam i'm definitely going to see it because i'm checking the emails for calendar orders and i'm checking the emails for those who parallel have the parallel mars and uranus are the two major things i'm checking the emails for so if i have not if you haven't heard from me leave something in the comments below so that i can um, find some kind of way to contact you we can find some way to uh send this email so to speak um, so with that, that's cleaning up house, sweeping up all of that. Let's go into Amenti. Again, thank you, Laura. Amenti. I might not be saying it wrong. It's either Amenti or Amenti. The halls of Amenti. And I want to talk about this because it has a lot to do with what's going on right now. Um, being that it's like this. Uh, let me give you a little history on it. It is, and, and, and I'm not going to talk, I, I really had to go into this right away. Like, you made me do my work. You made me go in, Laura. I had to look at, I was like, I'm empty. Okay, no, I got. I have to see this right away. And as soon as I saw it, it's like you pointed me to something, and I, I feel like I have to share that. So for those who have ears to hear, um, a mentee is the halls that, it was said that Thoth, or what I, I call Jehudi, Thoth and Jehudi is the same energy it's the same energy signature the same god which is the same energy signature and it was told that he put the pyramids at the entrance of the halls of amenti so the pyramids are like a gateway into this hall of amenti right um not obviously not a physical hall but the halls of amenti are they operate like a filter between the spiritual and physical so when i saw that it's like yes you get if you're getting halls of amenti vibes from from what I'm doing, then that is the truth. It's truth resonance because what we're what I'm doing, what I'm sharing is like, especially during these times, I'm doing my best to get the message out to those who can can work with it. That there's a sifting going on. We're sifting out. That's why I say the chosen of the chosen of the chosen few because we're getting sifted out. Um, and so it's like, it's a filter. It's like kind of what a filter do, filters through something. It's a filter that's like clearing out what, what doesn't belong, a filter between the physical and the spiritual and just kind of filtering out some things or, or as I look at it, like sifting out. And that's exactly what I do and share here. I give us the information so that we can know what to filter out. Like we don't have time for the, the pity patter. So when I give the information, it's like, this is what it is. This is what's going on right now. I see a lot of people talking about a lot of things and dancing around a lot of things. And for me, it's like, no, we got to get straight to the point, straight to this is what's happening. These are what these energies are saying. Did you know this? And I'm just giving it to you. And it's like, what the way I give it's the filter. It's filtering out what's happening between the physical and the spiritual. And so what's more to be said about this halls of a mentee, it said that walking through these halls, it's like, um, it's like, they call it like a halls of mirror, maybe like a mirror house, so to speak, like halls of, mir of a mirror. So that when you walk through, you realize that the physical is all an illusion. That's what the mirrors are supposed to represent, that everything you see, it's all an illusion, right? You're seeing um, a whole bunch of like everything in life, as I always say, is a reflection of you life is a reflection of you so what you're seeing reflected back it's an illusion of what that thing is because it's really you it's really for you to break that illusion of what that thing is or that person is on the on the outside of you it's an illusion in comparison to you you are the big kahuna you are who this is all about not what's in the mirrors although what is in the mirrors helps us to see us so it's like when i hear into me i see the more we look in the world to see ourselves, it's we going deeper into me, I see, through the reflections, through that's how we're supposed to use the reflections. 
Um, but for those who are caught up, we are to remember it is an illusion. It is a distorted memory and it's an illusion. So walking through the halls of Amenti is to deprogram. It is to, to have you face the reality that this is all an illusion. Um, and you're here to just gain the experiences, but then you return. Um, and it's something about going through that halls as well. That it's, it's kind of like giving me the vibes of Ma'at. When you cross over, you transition and you go through this, let me weigh your heart on the scale with the feather type um, thing. And what's happening is it's, you're going through this and, and it's, when you go through the hall, it's like it's meant to show you the illusions. And when you see that, it's like you level up. It's like you you now get rid of that and you get a new body. You you know, you get a new physical body. You get rid of that body and it's like you get a new physical body. Um, so it kind of, when you hear it like that, it's like it talks about death, like it's an afterlife thing. But what I'm saying to you and what I propose to you, it's not just about the afterlife. Because in this time right now, in this 5D with the dense, with the light speeding up so fast, um, as Dolores Cannon once said, never has this been before where souls are uh, evolving in this manner without having to transition and die. So I say that to say this, we are, um, in as we go through the halls of Amenti, um, we're getting placed a new body. We're getting sent a new body. Um, once you realize especially this is an illusion then you get a new body but um i want to say it like this on this plane put it this way we're going through the halls of a mentee multiple times it's not just one time when you physically um die and lose your body but every time we go through another stage and another level of our soul self we have to walk through the halls of a mentee and in this particular lesson in this particular issue in your life you're walking through the halls of a mentee you go through it you go through whatever it is and then when you go through it you now go through the halls of a mentee which were placed there by thought which thought is the god that is keeping records of everything all right so no no wonder he's the one that is noted as placing the pyramids there for a reason and that's to show us that these pyramids represent something the pyramids that represent us our bodies are the temples he placed these pyramids there. It's kind of like saying you got to go through the pyramids. And you are the pyramid. So you got to go through you. And when you go through you. And you come through. Then now you're seeing through the halls of Amenti. What it. Whoa that was an illusion. Oh that wasn't real. And then now by what you're seeing. It's now as you're in there. It's time to get a new body. Or a new physical. So your physicality changes. Right, Maybe not so literally for some people it does. They have a literal physical change. But your physicality changes, meaning what you're attached to in the physical realm, the ideas that you had in that physical realm, you've got a whole different body now. The body that you have now is not in a, in, it's not attuned to that anymore. All right, So don't just think when you pass over. If you look it up, I invite you all to look up the halls of Amenti. When, um, Amenti when you read it, don't just think of, oh, okay, so when you die, you go through these halls. No, it's talking about you right now. Those of us who are really, as she said, as Laura said, now I'm, I'm walking through the halls of Amenti. Yes, now you're seeing what is, what is really coming to, you're seeing the illusions. It's bringing to you what the illusions are, which reminds me, when I saw illusions, it reminds me of the Neptune energy the Neptunian energy, the shadows of the Neptunian energy is illusions, distorted memories. Um, what's the other one? False or something. I always miss one word. Illusions, um, distorted memories, um, fantasies and, and, you know, false imaginations, things like that. Um, mal imaginations, right? Because imagination is good, but you want to have good image a nations. Right when you in, when you have a good imagination, you image your nation in a good way, right? But I digress. So let me go back to uh, speaking on not the imagination spirit. No, now it's just like it wants to go on imagination, imagination. Um, be careful of your imaginations is what I'm hearing. It's, I guess it wants wants me to press that. 
be careful of the imaginations because a lot of people are caught in their imaginations, the images that they have that made their nations. Um, and those need to be uh, reconstructed, so to speak. So moving away, um, finding your way through this is paying attention to, uh, it's time to walk through the halls of Amenti, right? But also it's looking at where Neptune is because Neptune is at 29 degrees. It's about to switch. We will never see. I want to make this clear. It is important we get rid of the illusions that are with the Neptunian energy before Neptune goes into Aries. It is very important. That is the energy that we're in right now. And this is why we have to be ready to make a revolutionary um, change. So realizing illusions, walking through the halls of Amenti is going to help you to realize your illusions so you know what to let go of. And this is what must needs be done before uh, it leaves out of Pisces sometime in August. I need to get the exact date. Um, in August, it's going to leave Pisces and go into Aries and do not take this lightly some of us are here I want to be clear some of us are here to have our soul experience just for this moment just for this moment to utilize these angles of light that are coming through Neptune at 29 degrees right to help us shift it's helping us to unlock something in our souls even from your past lives right it's not just this life there is something major unlocking that that is going to help our overall soul because a lot of us are not we're not going to see this again i want to make sure i paint this picture clear we're not going to see this in our lifetime again not that it's not going to happen again but where neptune is where it has already made its full cycle and it's going into the beginning of its new cycle um which is why i call it the graduation we're not going to see neptune at 29 degrees in Pisces again for the rest of our lives here because it's not going to happen for another hundred years or so we want one to maybe 200 years um, we will not be seeing it so a lot of us have chosen to come at this particular time to utilize this angle of light to help us remove what we need to remove and we have to want to help ourselves it's not just the, the, the planet it's not going to do it for you so don't say, oh, well, this is what the planet does, so it's going to be done. Be careful for those of you who listen to astrology in that way. It's not to, don't get it twisted. Don't think, listen to the in-between and everything unseen. Because you'll hear stuff and you'll think, oh, yeah, this means that. Oh, they said some good stuff is going to happen. It may be good, but maybe not good for you. Because it depends on what's in your natal chart. It depends on what it's saying. So be mindful, be careful when you're listening to uh, certain forecast not that it's wrong with the people who forecast but it's sometimes it's wrong on our part as interpreters as we are interpreting what we're hearing and so be mindful that it's not just oh automatically this stuff is going to happen because it's in it's it's you right it's what you make it it's how you align with the energies that have us so inclined in our soul's design all right so i say this to as i'm bringing it together with the halls of Amenti, it is because um it is because let me see okay the illusion is really thick right now not just i want you to think about from the individual to the collective think about your individual illusions or fantasies or daydreams whatever ideals you have been hooked on and don't just think habits like really go deep into yourself you got to understand your subconscious and find out what have you been hiding there all right and we have to do this within a timely manner um, if it is for you to take advantage of this energetic opportunity to rid something heavy that has been riding on your soul either your entire lifetime in this lifeline or throughout your past lives it's that you are here to clear up that karma and this is also going to be the end of that karmic window so to speak of neptune being in the house of karma uh pisces so it's coming out of that you know that karmic house and that has an explanation to do with it in itself so as it's leaving the karmic house um yeah we're going to be carrying that with us so it's make or break for some people um meaning i was asked Ooh, that's a loud car it's not like somebody's mufflers on the floor 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pay attention. Is that a word, spirit? Somebody please pay attention to your muffler on the floor. And to know what that is for your body, know what the muffler does for the car. And I believe it released exhaust. So the part of us that released exhaust for some people is dragging on the floor. We don't want to release. We're dragging. That's a message. We're dragging. Okay, I got it. Some of us don't want to release, and that's that's the holdup. So we have we have to move in divine time, right? When this, uh, what I was going to say before that you know, muffler, I guess that was the warning to let some people know, hey, get your muffler up off the ground, right? The part of you that you need to use to have to to release exhaust. You're not releasing the exhaust. You're exhausting yourself. You're exasperated in certain areas of your life, yet you're not releasing that exhaust. All right, so think about that, however that may resonate with you. Um, um, releasing what needs to be released for you. And so bringing me back, thank you, Spirit, to releasing it in a timely manner because as I was asked, what happens if you don't and it's like it's not doomsday but for those who are wanting to take the most advantage of their soul's journey here this is an important time to release this exhaust that have you been carrying um on your soul's imprint so what happens is it's going to go into aries and this is the best way i can explain it if we do not get rid of the neptunian illusions the Neptunian shadows as illusions um, and and distorted memories and, and those sorts of things. If we don't get rid of it, then it, it's going to, we're going to graduate with it, as you've been hearing me say. You're going to take it with you. So as Pluto goes into its new cycle, you're going to take that with you and give it fire. Not only is it going to a new cycle, it goes into its new cycle in the element of fire. So it's going to get a, a thrust. So what does that mean? That means if let's say you had something, some illusion that you didn't change, you're just going to reform it, which is what the parasitic energies want us to do, i.e. with these elections and so forth. Those are one of the illusions that need to go. Um, and so what's happened is it's going to, you're going to double down and it's going to reinforce this illusion and it's going to change. It's going to, um, it's, it's going to change to appear as if there's some change because it's a new beginnings. You're going to be in the energy of new beginnings. So you're going to have to kind of match that energy of new beginnings. Um, but if you didn't truly let go of what you need to let go of and you hit new beginnings, what do you think is going to happen? That that you did not let go of and you did not get rid of those illusions, it, you're going to graduate with that. And now in the new beginnings, it's going to take a new form to disguise itself and it's going to be feeling new all right it's going to be like oh yes it's oh i just feel something new and that's because something shifted in you and it took a new form right for some people you would truly be feeling new if you have truly done the work but for those that have not gotten rid of their illusions right you carry that over with you and it's only going to feel new because it it changed it's a decepticon <laughs> Right, it just went. It just transformed. Transformers, right? It just transformed on you, so it didn't really go away, um, and that's very important for us to hear. I, I mean, I wish I can say that with so much more emphasis of how much of an emergency this is. So, those of you who have the ears to hear, please go into your souls, do your souls inventory. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity in this lifetime to help your soul's design right find out what it is this is what we talked about in the detox group as a matter of fact find out what it is as we were closing out there's something there find out what it is and make a proactive plan to release what no longer um serves you to release what you see now is not for you and we need to make a distinction of what is not for us that's another key thing um, this is two examples I had to give. There will be a desire. You may have desires. That's the illusion and fantasy and stuff. You may have desires for something and you may you want to ask yourself, is it for you? Um, is it for your highest good? You want to kind of figure that out and it can either go um, two ways. If it's something that you desire, 
There goes that banging muffler again. Who's still dragging? Who's in here still dragging a muffler? Um, you see, that's a second. When things are repeated, it's going back that way and say we, you know, dragging um, or lagging. Um, so the two things that could be happening, and pay attention to this, the thing that you desire or you feel like you got to have or you're fixated on, whatever it is, um, you have to find out if it's for you or if it's not. If it is for you without harm to anyone else, <laughs> if it is for you, then what it is that you need to kick into your plan is you need to find strength in yourself to overcome whatever that is so you can go for what is yours being bold courageous right the courageous lion if it's not for you and you have to be really honest with yourself don't just say it's for you because you like it and you want it you got to be honest with yourself it, if it's not really truly for you it does not belong to you and um what you have to do is let go um, you have to change your perspective. There you go. Work on changing your perspective so that you can release that thing and be, you know, being gentle with yourself and saying, we can't have this. We don't need this. Um, and that's going to determine something right there as well and being proactive in releasing what needs to be released because we have to acknowledge it and then we have to have a proactive plan. So I share that with you for those who it may be. So as I said, uh, this Amenti, Halls of Amenti, I'm here for it. We are in, the, I am in the Halls of Amenti. And um, we are allowing ourselves to see that, oh, that's an illusion. Oh, and that too is an, yeah, and I'm getting my new body. You know, hence, celestial earth that I am. All right? So, I share that with you all to, you know, the next thing I want to share is the 727 speaking of, uh, what we're doing now so this is a part of the revolutionary movement for those who are having the parallel natal chart that i've been talking about 727 and this came up to me uh yesterday well for those of you this this may be seen the next day so it may be like two days ago for you but saturday 727 was the code and i share this because seven um has been coming up for me a lot i don't know how many of you maybe have been seeing the code 727 or you keep seeing sevens a lot of sevens or numbers with sevens in them um it's that manifestation of what is happening we are manifesting something right now and what it said to me is i actually should have had the meeting um with you all on 727 so remember as i said the information comes and you got i gotta grab it while it's there and honestly there was a distraction <laughs> Uh, because I had a family arrangement to go to and I had it was already in the works but this is why and I say this to share sometimes we have to stop if we're doing our soul's work even if we told others we would you know be there because I had this in plans way in advance you know month, two months in advance so my mind was already set on that and there's something new happening right now that I have to pay attention to and and Sometimes we have to forfeit those other things because it's that quickly it can throw us off. So I missed the message on that because I was so focused that day, yesterday, on just getting to where I need to go. I had to drive a little bit out of town. Um, so with that said, as I returned and in my morning meditation, I got more insight on the 727. And this is a call. 727 is a call to those those ones, I said. Um that have the parallel Mars and Uranus. And I'm saying that we are to meet, we were to meet on 727, but no worries. Um, it will come again. We will meet actually 729. So you will hear from me, um, email if this is for you. If you didn't hear it, you might wanna hear the message that um, maybe two videos ago with me speaking about the Mars and Uranus parallel. I may do one more video to remind um those of that so the 27 the 727 was calling to me and this is like i see it as a 727 jet like this is a jet for us and it's we're jetting into the next step and so there are some meditations that i need to share with us for us to listen to to empower us through this time through this next assignment <laughs> that i'm going to be on that it has me not eating like I'm coming out of the detox thinking I'm going to eat and it's like, nope, 
um, I'm getting an I'm getting a body interception. I don't know if any of you have had that, but I'm getting a body interception where it's whatever's going on intergalactic communication, um, celestial communication. It's like you can't have that food. No, you can't have that. And I was like, but I'm off my feet. No, you know. So it's like it kind of has me in a, in a space where. Uh, can't be eaten yet so it's like i'm coming out of the detox and going into this strict fast of no foods you eat when we tell you to eat you have a cup of tea when we tell you to it's kind of like that so let me share this a little bit with you and then i'm gonna you know pretty much close out with that i didn't want to make this uh one too long because i'm a little tired i had the long long day um I thought I heard something. I gotta look back out here in the night. So this is in regards to the 727 day. As I said, I've been seeing these numbers and now I know why. I was like, oh, that's why I kept seeing 727. So 727 being a manifestation. And when you count the numbers on that day, it's a day six, right? Um, so this is a day and six is receptive completion. So this, which that day was, I'm speaking of that day. That day was a day of receptive completion in the manifestation of what is to come right so it's highlighting that this 727 of what is to come souls are awakening to their divine design on so many levels and it is time to move into a 727 jet towards manifestation so we are we're jetting through towards our manifestation this uh this harmony of duality within manifestation is the airways Right? The airways through which we must travel to traverse through the particular, to, to traverse through this particular space in time within the realms of our time space reality. Right? So let me say that again. It's the airways, the 727, which is the harmony of duality within manifestation. That's what that 727 represents. It is the airways through which we must travel. The airways that we must, and I'm speaking to the ones, so especially who this resonates for, in order to traverse through through our particular, this particular space in time right now, right? And so it is, but note that it is within the realms of your time space reality. So we're not all going to be doing the same thing. We're not all having this revolutionary, uh, radical change. Um, those of you who I'm speaking to, those who have the parallel in uh, Mars and Uranus and it affects everyone else on a grand scale but more tightly with those of us um, who have that in their angles of light right so it's according and it's tailored to your time space reality whatever your time space reality is for you right um, and that could be you know for, for most of us what I'm seeing it's you're getting a call to definitely shift and do something different and your body is going probably through certain changes because it's really a radical change it's a radical acceptance and a radical change and the fire is being fueled to move forward that sun in leo is what is activating this and, and urging us to move forward so with that said that is our 727 manifestation coming off of coming out of the halls of Amenti um, such a beautiful thing you all remember to look up the halls of Amenti when you get a chance and so those of you who did answer the call for the the parallel Mars and, and Uranus look out for uh, a meeting tomorrow those who this may resonate with and you know check your natal chart to know if, if it's for you check your natal chart and when you check look at where the Sun is in Leo and look to see if it parallels with your natal chart and it'll say it on there it'll say parallel your Mars parallel your universe I already had someone who's not um, like contact me and send me this and say what is this do you know anything about it and there and lo and behold I look and see where it says parallel Mars parallel universe I said oh you were sent directly to me for me to tell you that you're supposed to be here so I will send you the coordinates and um, yeah, it is what it is. So that's a 727 call out and we will convene on the 729, right? And we'll go from there, ultimately leading up to more, but that will be explained then. So 
I have no more events, so I will be keenly listening and paying attention. Um, this whole weekend, you know, this whole weekend was booked. So again, my apologies for those I have not gotten to. Um, it was an all-day event, both days. Um, as I said today, embracing my celestial earth, that was my manifestation, activation. Um, and so with that, in, in a Rasta community, for those of you who know, it is hard to... Uh, it is hard to speak to Rastas about 5D. They're very, a lot of people think that they're open, but closed, they're very close-minded, especially the older um, Rastas that are stuck in their ways. Um, they don't like energy talk, just like Christians. They don't like energy talk. They don't like um, 5D, any of that. That's like, what are you talking about to them? You know, chakras, anything like that, which is all tools that helps us as a vehicle to move but you know to each its own um but yeah i got called in to do that today and um maybe i'll possibly share that story in a in another video um because it was it was a spiritual warfare in its sense it was a spiritual warfare and some of us are feeling spiritual warfares right now that's why i've been led to not eat because of how much of a warfare it was um that i was coming up against um go with it okay you know spirits like you might as well go with it you know there was an experience where and some of you may be experiencing it people are feeling your light they're feeling your light and they don't like it and um the person who was putting this on was really like running from my energy and i didn't even know who it was until i got there um who was putting it on till i got there and after i did my presentation on pretty much bridging Rasta into 5D and letting them know that Rasta is the vehicle to 5D. But you know, I'm going to, I don't want to put too much on this video, so I'm going to definitely, I want to, because that's a topic in itself. Um, so let me not go too far into there. It's just simply to let you know that we're getting a fight and we're having a spiritual warfare. And if you find yourself in a spiritual warfare, please uh, fast pull back from some foods do not eat with those who are warfaring with you even if even if it's an event and an occasion i ate nothing that was there i went there strictly to be about my father's business to be on my spiritual journey and do what was called for me to do at an event that i would normally say absolutely not but spirit had called me in and um this is what happens when you answer the call so with that said speaking to my 727 uh, manifestation uh, those that are parallel answer that call because now is the time and there's some information for you so you know what to do with that said love you all um, remember to like subscribe share comment if you dare if you don't have something to say um, leave the emojis remember the calendars we still have our 5d calendars so get them at a 5d corner near you which is usually in the description if you don't see it in this one you'll definitely see it in a previous video um, sometimes I don't get to put it in the description right away I'm working on that you know tech savvy type stuff so bear with me um, and we'll continue to trot on this journey together it's an exciting time so take in what resonates with you and what doesn't if it doesn't apply let it fly all right with that said each one reach one teach one if you don't know where to start start in your big beautiful heart shine your light from the inside out and be the candle that lights the next one and the next one and the next one peace love and light